How's it going guys, Moo here. Today I'm going to be going over the best Color Rush heroes. Now if you guys don't know what the Color Rush heroes are, those are basically the set um, 87 overall cards for each team. Now some of these cards are really good. Now there's others that you guys probably don't know are actually kind of good. Now I'm going to include timestamps on the screen right about now. And if you guys want to just uh, look up a certain position in this video, just go to that timestamp of the video and you guys will see just the position that you guys are in need of. So so basically guys we're gonna be going over the color rush heroes and basically which one is good at every single position and which one i would suggest picking up uh because there are a few as i said earlier that you might not think is too good but they actually are a really good pickup and you probably shouldn't pick up another one um so i will put um a few things on the screen not right now but as the video goes along so make sure to guys uh stay tuned for the entire video or just go to your timestamp but if this video does help you in any way shape or form drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh yeah just let me know a comment below of what you guys want to see in the next video or what video you guys want me to see so basically i think we're going to start with the qb position uh qbs you know are pretty basic cards um now the qbs now i'm going to classify the qbs as a mobile qbs as well as uh non-mobile uh passing qbs so we're going to start at the um we're gonna go through all of the QBs basically. So Jared Goff is actually the number one uh, QB that I would pick up in my opinion. He is 6'4", guys, and he's got 87 speed, and uh, he's just he's just an absolutely beast card. He has insanely good throwing stats. He's got really he's really fast, and he's just all around really tall. This card is just gonna be a really good card for you guys to pick up. You guys can see the stats there. As I said though, he's six four, um, so he's definitely gonna be helping you guys out there. He's not gonna throw the ball right into the offensive lineman. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be putting height into a factor here uh, because height really does matter. And next up for the QB position, oh, and he also has 85 awareness, so he shouldn't be getting sacked too often as well as your as as long as you guys are paying attention just a little bit. But there, Jared Goff, in my opinion, if I had to pick up a QB, I would probably go with Jared Goff. He's really fast and he's got really good passing. Uh, next up, number two for the passing QBs, we got Derek Carr. He's got 83 speed and 89 acceleration. You guys can see the stats there. There's some all around really good stats. Um, he, he has a little bit better passing stats, but his speed is a little bit worse. He has better awareness. And yeah, basically the stats are very, very similar. Uh, there are a little bit, uh, there are a few perks to Derek Carr that Jared Goff doesn't have. And same goes for Jared Goff versus Derek Carr. In my opinion, whichever one you pick up is going to be a good option. Personally, Jared Goff is faster by a good bit to, to against uh, versus sorry for the stutters there versus Derek Carr. So I'm probably going to pick up uh, Jared Goff if I would have picked up a QB. But to be honest, guys, I wouldn't suggest picking up a QB when you get um, that Brady 100 overall Brady for free. You're not going to really need this small little 87 overall QB. Russell Wilson though is not very good i would not suggest picking him up guys for the number one mobile qb we have tyrod taylor guys amazing uh color rush jersey and russell wilson just guys just don't pick up russell wilson i love the seahawks but just don't pick up russell wilson tyrod taylor has got 89 speed and 90 acceleration as well as 89 throw power 89 throw accuracy short uh 85 mid and 85 deep i'm gonna actually go check his uh his height right about now i think he's pretty tall uh, but I'm not, don't quote me on that. I don't, I don't know how tall he is. I, yeah, okay, so he is pretty tall. I'm not sure the exact amount, but he's taller than Russell Wilson, so that's always good. Um, so, yeah, uh, if you guys want a mobile, t uh, mobile quarterback, Tyrod Taylor would be my option. But, again, guys, if I had to pick one, I would have gone with Jared Goff. On to the wide receiver position, we have uh, the... the um, the long ball throwing uh, position, uh, not position, the long ball throwing wide receivers, as well as the slot fast receivers. So AJ Green is going to be the number one, uh, kind of like the throw it up guy. Basically, you just throw the ball to them and they're going to catch it. 83 speed, 82 acceleration, as well as 87 jumps and 85 catch. I really like this card. Uh, he's really, AJ Green is obviously pretty tall and he's not going to drop the ball with that good catch awareness and jump stats. He's got decent speed, but he's generally going to be slower than the cornerbacks or safety so he should be able to get really good positioning now for the slot receivers obviously coming in at number one we got terrence williams uh you don't have to use this guy at the slot but i like to use him in the slot if i did get him he's got 92 speed 94 excel 88 jump he's got that 81 uh 
catch and 77 awareness, which is why I wouldn't necessarily just throw it up to him. He, is, he also isn't the tallest guy, so this is why I would put uh, Terrence Williams in the slot, but he's an absolute speed demon, so obviously he's going to be a really good slot receiver. Um, Jarvis Landry right beside him, uh, just all around small, uh, not very good, and yeah, just don't pick up Jarvis Landry, Landry either. Uh, coming in at number two for the best slot, we have Allen Robinson. You don't have to use Allen Robinson in the slot. You could definitely use it as an uh, an AJ Green card, but I feel like that 81 awareness, 81 catch might not be good enough once you start playing those really, really good defenses. Uh, that's why I like him in the slot. 87, 90, 87 speed and 90 acceleration. This card would be absolutely beast in the slot. Uh, it would probably be a little bit decent uh, in wide receiver one. But I would probably put him in the slot. And you already know he's got that sick Jaguars color rush um, jersey. So probably if I were to pick up wide receiver, I would probably pick up that Allen Robinson. Just because I'm a Jaguars fan, I got to go with it. Next, we're going to go to, I think we're going to go to our tight end position. And coming in at number one, we got Rob Gronkowski. The man, the myth, the legend. You can't not pick this guy up. If you guys need a tight end... Go Cobb Ron Rob Gronkowski. 83 speed, 81 XL. He's not going to be too fast that he gets in that bad positioning, but he's got 88 catch and 79 jump. So basically, guys, he ain't going to drop this. He, has, he also has 83 strength and 83 awareness, as well as 82 carry and 85 agility. Uh, yards after catch will be a big thing with this card, and I really, really, really hope I can get gameplay with this card because I think this card is going to be absolutely broken um, on those like out routes because once he gets that uh, open field to run, he's going to be out of here. Uh, now we're going to move to the um, probably, I think, the halfback position. Devontae Freeman is the only halfback, uh, and all in all, he's not a great card. He has got some decent stats, but there's going to be some really good halfbacks this year, and I just don't think Devontae Freeman is the one to pick up. So I wouldn't pick up Devont Devontae Freeman if I were you. But I mean, if you want to, go for it. I really don't. It's not re It's not my decision. It's obviously your guys' decision. If you guys really want that Falcon jersey, obviously pick him up. Tyron Matthew, also the only safety. He's got some really good stats. 84 man, 84 zone, 82 speed, 82 speed, 81 excel. But again, guys, he's not a card where I would say, oh, you have to pick up this card. But he is a pretty good card. Again, though, I feel like there will definitely be cards that will definitely outmatch this card. And I'm not sure I would go with this one uh, because there are so many other cards of this Color Rush Hero cards that are just way better, in my opinion. Tyron Matthew, not bad, but I don't think I would pick him up. If you guys really want that Cardinals jersey, though, I mean, sure, go for it. If you guys want any of these team jerseys because it's your team, obviously go for it. Now onto the cornerbacks. Coming in at number one, we've got Chris Harris Jr. This one is going to be very, uh, it's just, I like to pick, I like Chris Harris Jr. over Xavier Rhodes simply because if he has way better, uh, not way better, but he has really, really good coverage sets. 86 man, 86 zone, 83 XL, 83 speed. He's not overly fast where, where, where he will get beat. And he's also not uh, overly slow where he's, um, uh, he's not overly slow where he's going to get beat, but he's not overly, um, yeah, he's also not overly uh, slow where he's not going to be able to catch up. He's got just all around amazing stats, 89 awareness also. He's not going to get off of his route. He's going to know where the route is, and he's going to be where he's supposed to be with that 86 zone, 86 man. A beautiful card, in my opinion. Love the jersey. Coming in at number two, though, we have Xavier Rhodes. Again, a beastly card. Um, he's got great speed, uh, a little bit better. He's got 87 speed, 85 XL, 87 strength, 89 agility. Uh, he's got three less uh, overall of man and, uh, and the same zone coverage. Why would I pick Xavier Rhodes over? Simply because he has 87 strength. He's got 87 strength and 89 agility and 83 awareness and 80 tackle. He's more of a linebacker in my opinion. Uh, he's or it's like he's basically a Cam Chancellor. If you think about a Cam Chancellor, he's very similar to him. He is very good at making tackles, very good against run. So basically, that's up to you. If you need a good a, a good run stopper, Xavier Rose is your man. If you want a good coverage card, uh, definitely go to Chris Harris Jr. I love that Chris Harris, Chris Harris Jr. card no matter what. On to the linebackers, we got Jordan Hicks coming in at number one for the middle linebacker position. This card is absolutely beastly. I'm actually going for this card as of right now. I'm seven out of 50 and 37 out of 50. I just love this card so much and you guys will see why. But yeah, middle linebackers, definitely going with Jordan Hicks. If I do pick this card up, uh, this would be an, an insane improvement to my team. He's got 77 speed, 83 excel. So that's pretty average for a linebacker, uh, middle linebacker. But what I really like about this card, guys, just look at this. For a middle linebacker, he has 83 pursuit, 83 man. Oh, wait, wait for it, guys. 87 zone coverage, 
Oh, wait, did I mention he's got 89 awareness and 84 tackle? Basically, guys, awareness means that he's gonna be where he's supposed to be he's gonna notice where players are when they get open he's gonna be there he's gonna make plays and that 87 zone coverage and 83 man 80 83 pursuit he's gonna be all over the field he's gonna be uh, involved in every single play obviously a game-changing card definitely gonna be copying that if i can um uh on to number i think the linebackers now we can either get brian rackpo or clay matthews to be honest, I think it's up to the person. If you want that um, that jersey for the Titans, go for it. If you want that um, uh, the Packer jersey, go for it. Both of them are very similar. Uh, the only difference is Clay Matthews is more of a defensive end, rushing the passer, really good card, and Brian Arakpo is more of an actual linebacker. Uh, but Clay Matthews, a very, very good pass rusher. Again, it's up to you guys. There's no real obvious answer to this question. Uh, which one should you go with? But if I had to choose, I would probably go with Arakpo. Uh, but then again, guys, it's all up to you guys. And on to the next position. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it actually might be a defensive end or defensive tackle. Um, but Gerald McCoy uh, is actually a defensive tackle. I mean, not to, not Gerald McCoy. Joey Bosa is actually defensive end, and I think he's the best defensive end here. Uh, I really like his Joey Bosa card. He has the insane 86 power moves, 89 finesse moves, and 85 block shedding. Uh, basically, this guy is going to beat that offensive lineman and get to the QB. Really like this card. 82 excel, 83 awareness, and some pretty good speed at 73 speed. All around, uh, this guy's just going to get past that offensive line, and I really like it for that. Also, I love the jersey. Love the man. Uh, definitely going to pick Joey Bosa up uh, over Muhammad Wilkerson, I think it is. Uh, no, it's not. It's not Muhammad Wilkerson. The other defensive end. Defensive tackles, Gerard McCoy uh, or Gerald McCoy. The only one. He's not a bad card. He's got 85 awareness, 83 strength, 85 finesse moves, 79 block shed, and 84 power moves. I just don't see why you would get this card um, when there's... 31 other cards that are like really really good also but i mean if you really want that tampa bay Bu um buccaneer jersey go for this man i'm guys i'm not telling you to go for a card uh if you guys really want the jersey i'm telling you if you really want a good card don't go for draw mccoy about o-line though guys joe thomas is absolutely amazing he's got 85 strength 86 awareness 86 pass block 81 run block and 88 impact block that is an amazing card if you guys couldn't already tell this guy's gonna block it no matter who it is he's gonna block it uh that defensive end i think it is yeah defensive end he's gonna block that defensive end all day every day uh the other two uh offensive linemen are just nowhere near as good uh in an offensive lineman strength impact block are just really really important as well as awareness are really really important and the other two o, o linemen just do not have that at all um andrew luck not a very good card guys uh i just wouldn't pick him up period he just has not he doesn't have anything that just makes him stand out uh, we're gonna go through the cards that you shouldn't pick up Obviously, Jarvis Landry is small. You definitely shouldn't pick him up. He's just not a very good card. I guess you could use him in the slot, but then again, there are just way better options. Uh, as I said, Navarro, uh, Navarro Bowman actually isn't too good either. Um, uh, Eric Ebron is good, but I really like Gronk, and I don't like when a tight end is really, really fast. I like when a tight end is mildly fast, but not really, really fast, and that's why I don't like him as much. Uh, next up, Keekly. I just, I just don't like this Keekly card at all. It's just not an amazing card. Uh, it, it just doesn't have. You guys can see the card. You guys can see it for yourself. It's just, just not outstanding in any way, shape, or form. And that's why I did not go and select this card as uh, one of the cards on the list. I just don't think it's an amazing card. In the end, it could definitely be better. Um, and then, as you guys can see, we got uh, C.J. Mosley. Just not a great card either. Uh, and then I think that's Ty, uh, Trent Williams also just not very good when it comes to impact block and strength. Just I just don't really like these cards at all, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope this helped you guys, and if it did, drop a like on the video. I hope you guys learned something new or just got something out of this video. And yeah, guys, if you guys want to see more informational videos or if you have any, or if you have any comments or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.